Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be showing you how we test a specialty analog input module. This is a 1756 IF4 XOF2F. And that's an O, not a zero. Now this is a, according to the sheet, Control Logic's high speed input and output analog module. There are four input channels and two output channels on this module. And it comes with all the wiring diagrams as usual. So what we'll do is we'll uh, set up over here, show you how we configure it first in the uh, tree for voltage. Then we'll swing back over to the bench and show you the uh, testing procedure for voltage. Then we'll do a quick on the current mode. Back shortly. Okay, so here's what we've done. We've got the uh, analog combination module sitting in slot 3 of our 7 slot test chassis. Now, as you can see here, there is our module. So, we double click on it and it brings up our configuration screen. Swing over this way a bit. And there's a general, and I just call it, it always needs a name. The connection module info shows the serial number and everything else. Now here's our input configuration. Now each channel can be configured independently. You can uh, we'll start with channel 0 here, and you can set it for plus minus 10, 0 to 5, 0 to 10, or 0 to 20 milliamps. In this particular case, we're going to go minus and plus 10, so we can check the full range of the uh, components. Go to alarm configuration, and that's each channel is individual. You can configure it for an alarm. Uh, output configuration. Now, again, you've got two choices in this one. Minus 10 to plus 10 and 0 to 20. Now, when you change from voltage to current, and each channel is, you have to go to your limits. There's our output state. There's our limits. And you have to change, when you change from voltage to current, you have to change this screen also. So if we go to channel 0, change it to 0 to 20 milliamps, we have to change all of this information. 0 equals 0 and 20 equals 20. So if we put a zero in on the program in the uh, move statement, we're going to get zero milliamps. We put 20 in, we'll get 20 out. Hit apply. It'll say you're going to change something that don't do it while you're running, which is correct. We go back to our limits. And on channel 0, there's channel 1, which is minus 10 plus 10. Channel 0 is low is 0, high is 20. Now you can change those, so if you wanted low at 4 and high at 10, you could do that. So there we go for that one. And we'll just go back and set this back to voltage. And... Minus 10. Oop. Minus 10. Don't hit enter until you're done. And plus 10. And plus 10. Then you hit apply. Yes. Check your limits. Okay. Minus 10. And plus 10. 
and apply. You have to do each one individ each screen individually, which is not a great thing, but that's what I found. Okay, so now we'll swing around to the bench and we'll flip some switches and you can see the voltage move back and forth. Right back. Okay, we're back. And as usual with analog modules, here's our wiring arm. Uh, in this particular case, the outputs are jumper to the inputs because we're in voltage mode that we're testing. It's tied to our Fluke 123 and we're currently sitting at uh, minus 10 volts and we go to there and we've got zero volts so and the other thing we've done as usual is we ha we're tied to a an old good old Simpson meter there's plus 2 plus 5 plus 10 back to 0 minus 2 minus 5 minus 10 and then also, which uh, we, like we're sitting at minus 10, we have minus 10.01. And on our other digital meter, which is right up there, we have minus 9.98887. So having multiple meters gives you a good sense of how well the module is calibrated. In this case, I'm, I'm going to say we're really good, but if you need better calibration, there is a procedure that we won't go through, but it's uh, you need high quality power supplies, high quality meters that have been calibrated at a factory, and you get them get everything set up. But that's uh, not something we're going to do today. So now, now what we'll do next, just as a last test here is I'll go, I'll pause the video, go back into the configuration, change it to zero, four to, 0 to 20 milliamps, and just step through a couple of uh, changes on that. We're right back. Okay, we're back. So the wiring on the uh, module, as you can see, has changed. We're testing this channel right now, then we'll, I'll do the other one after. And we're tied to our good old standard Simpson DC milliamp meter. And there we go. So we're currently at zero. And we go to 10 milliamps. And, you know, depending on how you're reading the meter from by your eye, and 20 milliamps. And then back to zero. So what this does, and looking at the uh, simplified schematic that Alan Bradley Rockwell supplies, the current output and the voltage output are from two different uh, components inside the module. So you're better off to just do a quick double check to make sure that everything is working properly. So there we go. Um, that's a fast and easy way to check your combination fast DC input and output uh, voltage current module, high speed, and come back anytime, subscribe if you'd like. Thank you very much.